hello great and wonderful people have you watched this video mm. this man has in fact he has said it about soludo Ateze, and the rest who are fighting obi you need to hear what this pastor said oh my god now let's play the video for you to see Soludo, Soludo. Mm. Uh -huh. Soludo is not God, of course, he's not God. Uh, before we continue, I want to say something. Uh, he said, Honorable Ben Nabon also, he that he has had the cry of um, a brother or somebody suffering that you should go to rescue rather than run. I don't think that is really necessary on this one. Yes, we are, for those who are participating in the election, we are going to vote P2B. Yes, P2B. But we're not voting him because he is evil. No. For those who are going to participate, a lot of people, even non ibos they are voting him because they see he is the most competent among those ones that are coming out this particular time. So it's not about hearing the cry of a brother. P2B is not desperate about this. If P2B did not win, he's fine. P2B is a billionaire. He will still live his normal life. But um, remember, I'm talking about for those who believe in the election. Um, voting P2B or not, uh, the effect will be on Nigerians, not P2B. P2B can decide to, oh, okay, let me just return, go back to um, any part of the world he has the money to go and spend the rest of my life. So, the benefit is on, or the, the merits will be on Nigeria. The advantage or the disadvantage will be on Nigerians, not on P2B. You are not voting P2B to do him a favor. So, it's not a case of on Ruben Wannabana. So, no, no. It doesn't apply here. But, you are trying to vote competence. Among the rest, who is the best? Let's listen further. <laughs> yeah, this man is called Ebube Monso. <laughs> this reminds me of something. You know, Soludo, prior to his coming, he said he will make Anambra, he will turn Anambra to Dubai, Taiwan. Yes, he says so. And it, he thought it's easy. Meanwhile, that is what we wished. We want our place to be like um, a sin abroad. And I believe it can, it's achievable. And some of the times, uh, you know, it takes hard work and, you know, some brands. Uh -huh. Now, when you're a spectator or you're watching the match, normally what you do, you criticize players for maybe their mistakes. You think it's easy. Or when you're watching from the TV, oh, you would have shot this ball this way. You would have shot this ball the other way. Now it is his turn. He's criticizing Obi. He is yet to be able to manage Anambra. Meanwhile, we are praying for him to do well because it is to our benefit. He's not doing well. It's to the, our detriment. We pray for uh, Saludo to do well in Anambra. But hmm, what we are seeing, may God help us. We will continue to pray. Yes, we will continue to trust God that he, Soludo will do well because it is to our good, own good. 
Now, before we continue, unless I forget, let me tell you um, part of the reason Soludo is fighting Obi. The first one is jealousy. Jealousy. And uh, you heard what Atoeze said. And I think this, Obi Monsa also dealt with us, Atoeze, in this particular video. You heard what Atoeze said. That um, after Buhari, Igbo man, meanwhile, he's not saying that again. After Atiku now, he feels um, Soludo is the next. So there's an alliance. We had Atoeze has been involved in saying who rules Anambra, but um, during the case of Pitobi, he didn't have a say. He was not allowed to say. So he doesn't uh, like the person of Pitobi. Okay. He said Soludo is the And Soludo already saw himself as the most competent. Meanwhile, Soludo, try and fix Anambra first, though. Uh, fix Anambra first. Um, if you cannot manage a wife, one wife, <laughs> You cannot manage ten wives or five wives. Eh? Try and fix an umbra first. Oh, to wine and you walk walk even my che che che. Meanwhile, I like the way a woman monster dealt with them. Gao ache kote kuono. That is what he did to them. Let me play the video further for you to see. No security. Every corner. Every corner. You can enjoy your money, come on, Tax, tax. I'm going back. Tax. Tax. Everything is taxed in Anambra. Soludo is a Nebuchadnezzar of our time. <laughs> are you God, Soludo? Are you God? Can you imagine? That is why they say your enemies are members of your household. They are the people you should fear more, not outsiders. Look at a governor of his state. Anambra should be where everybody is saying, okay, we understand he's not from the same party. But there is a way a 
he would have done it. Uh, sometimes you keep quiet. You must not talk. But he's there out there demarketing Obi. And let me give you the second reason before I forget. The second reason Soludo is fighting Obi, in case you don't know. Um, I have looked deeply into that and I was wondering. I've told you the first reason, jealousy. How can he be like me? I have not tried there and he should try. The second reason now is Get onto your fuma. Anambra next election, that's gubernatorial election. If it will be wins, hmm. And with what is already happening, a lot of Anambraians are complaining about Soludo. If it will be wins, then there will be a Labour Party candidate in Anambra. Probably. And based on Soludo's record. The person might defeat him based on his um, performance. Unless he does well. I like Igbos. Uh, Igbos are some of the times they don't vote uh, along party lines when they see that you have worked. Remember how Ngige came in? Mm -hmm. But he worked and, you know, Ngige still, despite that Ngige joined APC, that respect is still there till today. So, unless Soludo will change, I see the next gubernatorial election in Anambra, if Nigeria still exists, I see that next election as having, he might not come back. Already a lot of people have been cooking for him. You know, when the public begin to cook for you, there have been complaints here and there, up and down. Everywhere, stacks, they are called Soludo. He said, nothing like Aburo, I've removed Aburo from Anambra. Now, they said the men in Siap were the ones in charge. They got delivered also. And rather than focus on his work in Anambra, he's always referring to Peter Obi. The marketing him. Meanwhile, I like what um, this man is saying. You are not God. And again, apart from that, you are not God. You have one vote. Even though we know these people are dangerous, they are capable of manipulating the results. Uh, but we know you have, we are supposed to have one vote as a governor. I have one vote, so do you have one vote? The youngest 18-year-old guy in Anambra that is selling plantain has one vote, and you have one vote. Unless it's not going to be a free and fair election, or maybe um, Igbos are not voting. Anambra will naturally go for Soludo. In fact, the whole of Igbo land, forget what Omar is also doing. Uh, as if he speaks for the rest of the Ebonians. Let's see the video further. Don't listen to Soludo. Get your PVC. That is your power for those who believe in Nigeria election. One vote, like I said. Get your PVCs. And that is it. 
That is it. Protecting investment. Not forbid. Chikwekwena. Atiku. I'm on my gun car. Professor, we will bring. And yeah, it's what he said there. Saludo is like a kid that was pushed there. He didn't walk towards becoming a governor. Apart from the debate he did, what did he do? Obi are not single handedly placed him there. He didn't do his, make himself governor. How can he interfere with who becomes president? What does he know about politics? You think he's being a professor? <laughs> professor Abro, so say oh, professor, he won't go brand. Well, you have seen it. Uh, this is where we draw the curtain on this one. Uh, add your comment. Tell us what you think. I'll see you later.